Let me bring in Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk. Mike, if if you're 35 and you can win a championship in any sport you wanted or you can have a child, you're you're single at the time, but you can have a child. But that's so the only, I don't have other children. No, and that's the only year you can have a child, the only year you're going to win a championship. What would you so pick at age 35? if you pick the championship, you can never have a child? No. I'd take the child a million times over. Hmm. A million times over. What if you're 20? But it doesn't, if you can never have a child, giving up your ability to ever have a child for a championship, a million times over you take the child. Yeah, but at 20 you, don't know, 20 you don't have any perspective. You're just going, I mean, who wants a child at 20 when you could have a championship at 20? Well, right, but I'd like to think, because I'll admit that I had no perspective at age 20, and I still struggle to have perspective <laughs> today. But if someone had told me this is your only chance, you're never going to have a child if you don't have one now, speak now, forever hold your peace, I'd like to think that enough of my soul would have flickered through in that moment to say take the child you wouldn't fit into this room well i mean it's easy for everyone who has children to say that they take the championship and i'm sure that there are days when my son was much younger i would have gladly taken the championship (laughs) he's 20 now no 19 i want to i don't want to wish his life away he's 19 now so it's far less maintenance for me but uh um, yeah, oh, without question, you take the child. All right, now... Help- what, what do you do with a champion? Okay, you take a championship. Yay, I'm the champion. There's the trophy. Then what do you do with your life? Is, it, is the trophy going to take care of you when you're old and need to be taken care of? I mean, that's not why you have kids, but it's just one of the examples, one of the benefits of having a family, I guess. You're giving way too much thought to this. Yeah, I, well, I, well, you asked me a question, I answered it. And, and you gave way too much thought to J.J. Watt <laughs> last night. Uh, what happened? All of a sudden, somebody goes, oh, they're playing the feud. It's it's Florio against J.J. Watt in his tight uh, men's soccer kit that he had on. Why did it bother you? I, I Well, I felt like that was the best possible way to send off Skip Bayless from his time at the mothership, <laughs> right? I, look, here's the thing, and this, there's more than just what J.J. Watt did last night. He has a habit of doing things to attract attention to himself and then getting frustrated when the things he does to clearly attract attention to himself attract attention to himself. I have no problem with someone being a Kardashian, but he wants to, in the same breath, say, why are you looking at me? Here I am wearing a shirt that is ten sizes too small with autographs all over it. Why is anybody reacting to this, even though I have sent this picture out to two million people who follow me on Twitter, and that's been retweeted and discussed. Please don't talk about me as I share my life with anyone and everyone who happens to pay attention to it. That's a disconnect that I can't reconcile, and he has talked about it in the past, and he doesn't get it. And he's closer to 20 than 50, and I think he doesn't have the benefit of perspective. He just doesn't understand. You can't seek attention and act like you don't want attention, and expect everyone to say, okay, that's perfectly fine. What was J.J.'s response? Well, his response was like, don't you know how Twitter works? If you don't like what I'm doing, don't follow me. And my response to that is, don't you know how Twitter works? You put it out there, unless you've got a private account that no one can see unless they're pre-approved to follow you, you may as well be taking an ad out in the paper, because anyone with a Twitter account can see it. And I don't follow him, but I follow the Texans. And they retweeted it. That's how Twitter works. So <laughs> this, this notion of if you don't like it, don't look, it's, it's kind of adolescent. And it's just, it's not logical. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, everybody, look at me. But if you don't like it, look away. That's basically what he's saying. This is what I think you need to do. I think you need to get a really, really tight shirt today. And maybe while blogging on Pro Football Talk, and then just tweet that out and make sure J.J. Watt sees it. Yeah, I'm sure that would go over very well. <laughs> I'm sure everybody would love that. I'm sure everybody would get the joke, too. Well, you can just say that you're, you're sending this out to J.J. Watt as a response, just to hey, let... Hey, look, I, I am willing to concede freely that J.J. Watt <laughs> looked a heck of a lot better in an extra medium shirt than I would. Let's I'll try. I'll that point. I don't know. Let's try, Mike. I think you should. You're, you, I think you're selling yourself short. I don't know. I may have to. I may have to drink some of that Woodford you gave me at Christmas time to make it happen. <laughs> have you tapped into that yet? Oh, I, yeah, but I only. It's special occasions. Oh, okay. I, the top shelf stuff. Special <laughs> occasions. <laughs> uh, all right. Good well, stuff, though. Keep stirring it up there, Mike. No, yeah, it's good stuff. Thank you, buddy. All right, buddy. That's uh, Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk. He went after JJ Watt. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.